So here we are today. The Kia School players have won. In Yue de Azora. It's a beautiful town and we're right on the beach at this kiosk looking out at the harbour. I'm with Adrian Baez and we're going to talk about how we got here which is quite funny and here he is. Adrian how are you? I'm very well, I'm very well. Well in this amazing island I'm very happy and I'm fortunate. Yeah. It is a beautiful island. What we're going to do is we're going to ask you a few questions. You can answer them however you like. Thank you. And uh, at the end of it, we can, uh, you can give a shout out to anybody you like, okay? Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask the first question. And the first question I always ask is, how did you get here and what did you do before you came to the island? Right, I, in this occasion I'm a local person because I born here in Tenerife and well, I've been living in all over the island because um, my first residency was in La Laguna in, in the neighbor island of the, I mean the neighbor city of the capital and after I've been living in the north of the island and then in when I was uh, more uh, adult, we changed to move here in the south because all the work, more more or less, are in this part of the island in the south. Playa Las Americas, uh, Los Gigantes, uh, Temple, all the places are the more more um, busy island. And so that's why my mom, because I'm a separate, my mom was separate from my father and we tend to live here and um, that's why I was like this. <laughs> uh, how old were you when you got to the south of the island? 16 years. Okay and have you been, uh, well I mean you got to tell the people what you actually what you actually do here as a work. Yes well um, I'm a study um, um, the department of uh, um, chef and I'm not so good with uh, studies, so I don't know why uh, my life would have been changed in another direction because I tried to help my mom uh, for work and because she was the only one carry on my home. And so I'm going to start to work in public relations in Playa Las Americas in the train and then um, I found myself after with another jobs um, and start to found um, different jobs like uh, um, work in the staff uh, of a local shop for um, um, pictures you know when they develop in the photos and okay, so. yes it's, it's like a Photoshop yeah. Yes, and so we were. I, I was working there for a few years, and also in the same time working uh, like a photographer in the little trains make around and play Las Americas. So, <clears throat> and there um, I was made my first band with 16 years old. It was a heavy rock band. Uh huh. Yes, and there was where I start my my passion for the music. And then uh, after that, uh, I was uh, found another jobs and people um, learn the different language because I speak a few languages. Um, then uh, people say to me, why you don't work in the hotels and like a reception or something like that? And I will try. And I was working for a few years also in the hotels. And it was very, very nice uh, opportunity because it gave me very, very uh, good communication with the people. And it was another history, you know, because uh, for learn language and speak other language, it's very interesting to know the, the places where you are because it's a speaking different um, part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So in the hotel, asking more global everything, and then you learn more uh, language, and then in the end, 
I was looking myself for for my myself, <laughs> uh -huh. and then try to found uh, the risk of the jobs like uh, autonomous. Autonomous, yeah, you know? yeah. So, I just explained to the uh, to the to listeners what autonomous is. Here on the island, you can go self-employed, yes. and to go autonomous means to go self-employed. So you pay your stamp every month, and it depends in which branch you're in how much you have to pay. And if you're not employing people, you just pay for yourself. But that covers you for all the health care and pension and everything like that, right? That's, that's it basically what they have to be. Mm -hmm. Then um, I was working constructions, do my, my steps in different part of the uh, jobs. Then the last thing I was have a bar in Los Gigantes. You're a bar owner? Yes, yes, and then <clears throat> singing there every night, and was been amazing years uh, because I know so many different people from different places of the world, and I say hello to everyone can see me that from uh, here Tenerife. So then uh, I'm start to think and by myself and say. Look, uh, what do you go to do? Um, then I ask by myself, no, and I say, people have a, <clears throat> how's it called? Um, uh, when the people have the, um, um, the, the values to do things, you know, um, uh, skills. The skills, yeah. Right. So I say, which skills you have, Adrian? So I say, right, uh, <clears throat> I'm seeing. And I like that. I do also martial arts, but it's another part of if my uh, hobby, you know. And then um, what I say is, right, work for the music, uh, try to do it. And then I was start to doing this, and then it was it was very 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 good because I'm a lucky. I live in the south, mm -hmm. and the the music is very requested so we have a job here and i'm lucky i'm lucky for that that brings me to my next question i mean you've you've answered the first two actually uh, the next question is how did the lockdown or the covid virus affect you wow wow here you know we are in canary islands and we live by the tourist uh, uh, employment so uh, we we passed very very bad uh, moment till now because it's still not go on uh, the busy the business um, are very slow because uh, the virus is still damaged um, the, the, the places we are very lucky here in Tenerife and Canary Island don't have that much um, infected. But we have to be very worried about this because uh, uh, you didn't know really how it uh, uh, actuate this virus and because all the information made you confused because it's a lot of information in the television, in programs, in the internet, in everywhere. Then you're being very worried. You don't know how to do. And then sometimes you catch uh, uh, the virus. <laughs> do you know anybody personally who's got it? Personally, I don't have any person. Uh, I don't know anybody either. I don't know. I mean, the last time we looked, there was only about uh, 50 people on the whole island that's got it. Yes. And they're all in the north. In, there was always in Santa Cruz and La Laguna and the north, some places, because here in the south, all this four months is only about 17 person. 17 person in all the south of the, from Los uh, San, from Granadillas and San Isidro to here, to Los Gigantes. In Los Gigantes, it was nobody. And Guia de Sol, it was three persons and some other places. So, and there was very, very, um, um, how you say? L yes, lock lights. I think it started in Adeje, in the H10 in La Caleta. 
and that was some guy and uh, it was an Italian yeah. doctor that had brought it over from Italy. Uh, he'd been doing. Hasta luego. Ciao, chicos. Gracias. Okay, we're just going to swing around to the guys here. There you go. Say, gu say goodbye, guys. Dice hacha, hasta luego. They should be at school. In la escuela. Vámonos, in la escuela. It's summer holidays now. College. <laughs> oh, college. They're too young. They're too young for me. So yeah, uh, was there any government help for autonomous? Um, I'm no now. I'm no now personally um, um, work for myself uh, like a owner mm -hmm. or partner. I work for. Um, I mean, um, contract with the companies. You know, okay. they they contract me for make the shows and okay. things. So. I was being lucky for that before the virus because we have a very many many places to play and in all over the Canary Island we was being um, one of the uh, bands uh, cover from the government mm -hmm. um, they was uh, help us and pay for the big concerts mm -hmm. uh, our cache no. so uh, we say cache in English no no, how you say the uh, what, what my my price? Uh, oh, gaji. Okay, yeah, the yeah, yeah okay, the uh, the price for you. Yeah. Yes, how you say? I don't know actually. Uh, the fee. The fee. The fee. No, the fee. Yeah. So they pay the fee and the extra things pay the governments. You know, so cool. uh, we've been very very lucky because we have the carnival in La Palma mm -hmm. and concerts in summer and all over the places and everything was been low. So that means uh, you're not working at the moment. Yes, I was been lucky because from July start to come a tourist from uh, many different places uh -huh. and also the residents places and I've been lucky because uh, I work for a, a beach company mm -hmm. so they have the kiosks and uh, like uh, the sea this is one of them where we work I mean also in um, in Playa Las Americas you have another places in Fanabe and also in Coqueluche. So Coqueluche Beach is an amazing place where you can have also live music on. That's in between, that's La Caleta, right? Yes, in between La Caleta and Fanabe. Okay, that's a Playa de la Indramada. That's the one. Okay. You cry. Cool. Yes, and I play in Torviscas, in Fanabe Beach. Uh -huh. So they started to play and push very hard for the employees and the company and we we were for them we singing there and if you want to i mean to visit us mm -hmm. you know where we are so if you're on the island um when we when can we catch your next show taking into consideration this isn't going to go out till next sunday yes so after next sunday where can we catch your show in the moment uh, we play in fanabe saturdays uh -huh evenings and some days here in Playa San Juan. Okay. I play in duo, in duet uh, with the play guitar in Fanabe mm -hmm. and with my trio band with the drums and the play guitar and me. Mm -hmm. uh, we play here on Sunday afternoon at uh, 4 o'clock. And what's the band called again? Too Close. How do you spell that? Um, two um, we put two number because two, number two and then two t double o okay. right and close c l o s e too too close too close okay yeah. okay the, the two and the, two on the, two the two and the two you can see here oh, okay so it's too close i got you okay yeah. uh L -O it was like uh uh, yeah, a trick, no, in between the words. Uh huh, that was cool. So, I tried to play the two with the number two, and next time I will take out the T double O. <laughs> because people, I know English. I was thinking in too close, uh -huh. and people thinking it's too too close. Too too close. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's too close. 
So actually, it's it's too too close, but it's too close. Yeah, so actually, maybe like too too close. I like it too too close. Yeah, it's like the dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah, <it's the laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I put the name because we try to do with this band the more close um, to the to the music, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with our style, but respect very very much the the song. Okay. and don't uh, disturb it. Uh -huh. So that's why we put too close, because it's close to the song. Okay. No, it's, we so try to gonna, do as... We're going to actually hear a snippet of one of the songs right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the cover version of Stevie Wonder's Superstition. So we'll nip back to Adrian now and uh, we'll ask him the final question. What does the future hold for you, Adrian? I hope so. The virus is stopped for everybody in the world. Found, um, how's it called, in, uh, one uh, vaccine. vacuum for people uh, being free and you stay safe and I start to come back to the island from the north, north the, 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 this <laughs> month because <laughs> we need you, honestly, we need you, you to come here. We really do, we really you do. You are part of this island. Uh -huh. British people, Irish, Scottish, uh, Belgium, Italians, uh, from all over the world, we need you here. We need you because we were by use. Otherwise, money don't come in, and governments help very, very slowly. <laughs> you know, you know this phrase in Spanish: five minutes. <laughs> you have to wait half an hour. <laughs> so this been happening <laughs> for us also. Yes, and when they say mañana, you have to wait a longer time. You can laugh with that joke <laughs> but it's true it's the real truth adrian is there anybody you want to shout out to i invite everybody to come here because tentative is an amazing island and gran canaria la palma all over the islands have these special things you have to found and and visit because uh, they are all uh, freedom islands with very very lucky position in in the world we have a very good weather in the winter time and summer time so you don't have a risk really for the sun okay adrian bias i'd like to thank you very much today for joining me here in san juan and for giving all the information that you've given and wonderful songs and music and lyrics and i wish you the best in the future and thank you and goodbye Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and your support to me and to my band. And I hope so to, to be lucky in all over the world. <laughs> and people see me and if you want to contact with me, please uh, be to this channel contact and you can follow me, of course. Cool. Adrian, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you indeed. <laughs>